okay so this was the first first uh, statement uh, in java if you notice we were writing something like int age age equal to 22 or string is equal to something right but in groovy there is no such requirement everything is dynamic so it's a dynamic type language what do you mean by that so if i say def id is equal to 23 it will automatically assume that it is a it is it is a integer okay and similarly if i say def name is equal to chandan it will automatically assume that it is a string okay so this is what i mean by dynamic it automatically identifies whether this is a string or id when you assign values and printing the variable again is same i can say log dot error id similarly log dot error name now why i'm getting this error it's basically log dot error only prints the string values okay now this id is not a string so to convert that in string similar to java we have dot string method dot to string method okay since name is string it will not give us error but id is an integer so that that's why it gave us error The error is also visible here. Integer. Okay. Okay. Now it is printed easily. Now let's talk about if else or logic conditions. Let's say I have two values. One was name, and then let's say the second is name two which is Chandana, okay? So in if else, uh, again, it's pretty simple, just like Java. I can check whether name equals name one, okay? And then I can perform some action here. If else, I can perform some action here. Okay, so I can say when name equals this test passed. Okay, as test failed. So that's how you can write if else statement similar to Java, no, not different. Only different part is variable declaration till yet. And uh, now if I print this, okay, because the name I defined as name two, not name one. Okay, test failed because Chandana and Chandan are not equal. That's how you can use if else. Now let's talk about for loop and list. Okay, in Java, you can declare list and use for loop like we, we see, dot, see that example yesterday also, when we look through the variables of driver handles, right? If you remember, how we were looping through the driver handles and then converting it into a list and then using indexing, we were printing it, right? So in here, Declaring list is pretty simple. Again, def list, everything is basically dynamic. And uh, now under this, I can declare my list item. Let's say one comma three, two comma four comma three and so on, right? And now how to iterate and print this list, we can use for, 
again the same in syntax which we have which we were having earlier for item to the variable name item in list okay for every item in list do what do print print what log dot error item now item is in integer again right so, so to print it in a string we need to string that is that is how you can use for loop so for uh, loop with like value like int is equal to i int is equal to so that you can use def is def i is equal to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus okay similar to java it just that remember to define in in it is def rather than integer or exact variables so the values are printed okay the final thing is key value pair or maps okay again similar to java def but in java we used to define hash map right we today also we saw that example in mobile emulation we divided a hash map we added all those property like mobile emulation is equal to emulated view okay uh, in here it's pretty simple you have to provide data in key value pairs kind of like json okay so curly braces on curly braces off and in java there was a problem in hash map uh, we could only define like say string string or we can we so during declaration we have to define the type of uh, data type of that map right string string or integer string here there is no such issue you can have a string string value also you can have a string integer value okay so i can have something like this name chandan age 29 okay so in java it is not possible you can't have the same map which can have multiple type of data types right this is string string and then this is string integer but groovy it is possible and he, and it is also possible in python also so groovy a lot of similarities are there with java and so groovy takes the best of java and python okay again to print this for def let's say map item in map get key and get value directly in java uh, if we have to print a hash map uh, we have to say get okay and the value and the key name get key or if you want to directly print it then the key okay here get key and get value so log dot error map item dot get key similarly map item get value now problem with value is one of the item is an integer so let's convert that in string so that it does not throw any error okay so see you can see the values name is equal to chandan age equal to 29 okay so that's how you can print list maps variables 
apply logic like if else for loop this is the like basics of writing and groovy scripting